Knoflex. It's Thursday and it's snow in the air. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> like, <laughs> like a little bit. Snow! 6th of November and first snow. And hopefully a lot of snow to come. I like to go like barefoot in the snow, but right now... <laughs> that's not possible. Oh, we'll see how that goes. But yeah. It's getting colder. You know, I've been showing a few places to you, but there's one place that I've been hiding. Uh, and this is what we're going to do today. I'll show you this one. University. This is the main entrance of the university, and here on the left you can see the uh, library. Which is very modern. The whole university is really modern because it's just 15 years old. Before that it was a universal college. Here on the main entrance you can see their motto they have. Not the big white letters. The one down. <laughs> that letters means um, dare to know. All around the university they have these spinning doors. I'm not sure someone will have some time. Here we are in the main entrance hall kind of thing. Here we have the library on the left and also the Wacom Center. Whenever you have problems you can come there and they'll help you out with all these organizational things and whatever you might need. On the other end, here is one of five cafeterias. Um, where you can get lunch or just a snack or something. To get around at the library on the weekends and even for some rooms within the week you need one of these ones. This is a key card and you need it to open all the doors. You need your special code and also you have these things. Every door on the weekend is closed so you need to hit the button. Magic. And here we are in the next cafeteria, but also we are at Campus Bukhaman, which is a bookstore at the university where you can sell or buy um, your literature. And this is very useful because on this way you don't need to post in any groups or something. You definitely find the literature you're looking for. Okay, now we're on our way to my favorite building. This is on the one hand a Handelshoek school, which is for economics, but also for media. So this is the place where I <laughs> lived the last month when I had the first course. But also here's a huge thing to sit outside. It's not a playground? How do you call it? I don't know. But let's have a look. In the summer they had benches here. So you can sit here, enjoy the sun, there is another cafeteria of course, where you can have a little fika or a meal, lunch and all these things. Fun fact about Sweden is they only have unisex toilets at the universities. The University of Karlsruhe has approximately 60,000 students and 1,000 um, administration and staff working here, so it's a really small university. And the button again. Let's do the magic. Everyone I met here, no matter if it was a student or um, a teacher, are really nice and trying to make your study or your stay here as great as they can. So 
you're running into open doors here. Everyone is glad to have you here and they are really appreciating the um, opportunities of international students and um, gives you a lot of opportunities. We have this choir which I will show you hopefully in the next few weeks. Sports center here where you can do sports whenever you like to. And it's okay, prices are okay. They gave you a lot of opportunities here to improve your study life. Storm again. Another thing that I've noticed is that in Sweden or in Kassad way more older people study than it is at my home university. With old I mean people that are not in their 20s or early 30s. So in every course that I had until now there were people who were definitely over the age of 40, I guess. <laughs> And it's more common. You see a lot of older people around, and that's normal. In Germany, it's, or <laughs> in my university, it's like curiosity, but here it is just a normal thing. This is the hours where most of these, these things are happening. And another cool fact about Kassel University is that they have racing teams. I'm not 100% sure about this, but they are building these things. And then having races. We are on the last step of my little tour. This is the last um, cafeteria I want to show you, and also here's the big egg. They are really proud of this. There's a screen in the front and also a screen within these things. So we are having a cinema or movie nights there every Wednesday with all the internationals and a time I wouldn't for a film and then watching it in there and it's really cool. Maybe some of you know how German universal papers look like. This is what they look like here. Seems like a younger version of Miley Cyrus. <laughs> oh my gosh, what I'll keep it. And this is another thing that I find really, really like weird. This is what bins look like in the University of Costa. They have five different here, but sometimes there are seven or eight different bins and you have to choose. Do I have to study that first? Yeah, that's it from Kassad University. I hope that I could give you like a little tour <laughs> as far as I know. There are a few other things that I didn't show you yet because they are closed or something. But it's a really cool university and I really like studying here and I would like to stay forever but impossible so I'll go back home. Um, if you have any questions about studying in Sweden or especially the University of Casa, you can just ask me. Son, you can either write it in the comments on YouTube, Facebook, send me a message on Facebook or whatever. Just let me know and I'll try to answer it <laughs> as far as I can. Um, yeah, have a great week and thanks for watching.